How you doing? I'm Mike Kane. I'm from Rockford, Illinois. This is my van. It's a 2005 E350 60 turbo diesel. It's tuned. It's fast. It's got spoiler, visor, three sets of driving lights, two fog or a fog and driving lights, functional hood scoop, twin sunroofs. Got the fancy headlight, the angel lights on there. And it's the front. What is that, three quarter ton? Right? One ton. Oh, one ton. Oh. Spoiler or flares, mud flaps, uh, Hulu wheels, whatever. And long trail TA radials. These are the best tires ever. And then there's my sign. Official use here. Yep. My nickname's Loafer. So I drew this up in 76, had it on my other van. And a friend of mine does computer stuff, he made that and so I put it to use. Just more nonsense. Toss about the tree and who's sitting under it. Oh, if you look real close, it's me and the dog. And now me and Ellie Mae sitting there. And these are 17 inch rims instead of 16s. Mm. So my speedometer is three miles an hour off. I had it lettered last year. And then I got, got in my flags. And it's tow hitch, six, the round plug, and then that plug is for, I can plug in the 110. And this is for uh, the dog. Don't forget him, right? Case A. Oh, I got. I don't. Because everybody calls us my jet because it's turbo and tuned and. Oh, there you go. Yep, yeah. Magna, come on. What did it say? Remove what? Remove before flight. No, oh, there you go. And I put one on here for. <laughs> so I don't forget my stuff. Yeah. And there's lots of room under the bed. Mm -hmm. I can take all my camping, stoves, grills, everything, and, and my generator, it all fit in there. Two batteries and a charger, so when I plug in, it charges them because I didn't want to do the solenoid with the motor. And, mm -hmm. and there's all kinds of couple tubes up in there. One's got boots, the other guy's got rain gear, a couple umbrellas, magnets for whatever I need. Here's a tire wrench and stuff, and that's all. I got to have special diesel oil and diesel antifreeze, and mm. that's all just backup stuff. That's a power fan. It's one of them big fans. Oh, yeah, yeah, and you yeah. did the woodwork all yourself. You're a oh, yeah. I'm a retired carpenter. Mm -hmm. and if, if you, all the lines line up, all these lines line up with this. All mm -hmm. these lines line up with that. Mm -hmm. You shut the doors over there. Those line up with the ceiling. All the cabinets, all the lines line up with the ceiling. Except for those going this way. Yeah. Very cool. Let me get these doors here. It probably took me six, seven months to build it three years ago. Mm -hmm. And it gets up on the highway and just cr with a 10 foot box trailer, 80 miles an hour, mm. 2200 RPM, and it just purrs. No problem. Oh, no. Nice. And this is, this is the other side. This is the side you get in. Got in my dog stuff because she goes everywhere. She thinks it's her truck. <laughs> and when you climb in at night, see the little arrow? Here's the main light switch. Mm -hmm. It lights up the whole thing. You got a clock with the little my little emblem in the middle. I have artwork. My buddy's daughter's was bored. I said, draw me a picture. So she drew me a picture. That's Ellie Mae. And that black hole is that black dot is a hole with a bone in it. I said, you don't make me a picture, I'll put it in my truck. But there's porta potty. There's a water jug under there and that, that drains out, just drains straight out. Mm -hmm. Everybody's got to have her, freaks out over their phones, so there's a 12 volt plug. Cabinets there, there, underneath here is a cabinet. Final floor from front to back, so if anything spills, I can just take this carpet and throw it away, put it in one in. Mm. There you go. Double sunroofs up here. CB radio for if I have a friend I could talk to. Nice comfy seats. 
tow package for the trailer. And half this stuff is from the junkyard. The seats, the overhead, all the, all the lights, uh, the door handles, the plugs for the 12 volt. I love to go treasure hunting. And this thing won a trophy at the Nationals in Massachusetts for most practical. There was your quarter tour of my van. And uh, we're here at Rensselaer, Indiana for the first cave-in. And I, I just heard another one just got canceled in Iowa, so I guess we can go into that one. But next week I'm going to a hippie fest in Angola, Indiana, just because I can. <laughs> see what happens there. I got I bought a new tie-dye shirt, so I'm all good. All right, see ya. Somewhere down the road.